BC and world. Hey, it's Saturday. And um, <clears throat> a lot of times on the weekend, uh, I just, uh, depending on what I'm doing, I just don't uh, make a video. But um, I'm uh, free today, except for, uh, you know, getting ready for my presentation. And um, I don't know, I had a feeling that uh, I would be getting something in the mail today, and sure enough, I did. Um, this is from MyberTube, Mark. And um, I just opened it, but I'm going to look at what's in the box live. Now, I already kind of know because you um, e messaged me and asked me um, <clears throat> what I was lacking, uh, what I had on vinyl by Ride. So I know that that's what we're looking at here. Very nicely uh, packaged here. And I can use this box again. <laughs> I sure can. Very nicely, uh, safely packaged. <clears throat> So, um, just really uh, securely packaged. Right on the top here is a 7-inch um, <clears throat> white rose movement with a uh, die-cut cover um, on Independiente uh, 2005. I think I heard uh, perhaps Mark talk about white rose movement. I don't have anything by them. First off, just, just let me thank you profusely, Mark. <laughs> thank you uh, very much. Um, Oh, cool. Okay, so we'll just go. It's a, it's a stack, you know. <clears throat> I'm going to say thank you and show everything, and then I'm going to go back to uh, what I was doing. And, uh, wow, wow, you you gave, you gave me what I was hoping for. But first off, here is a 12-inch single, I believe, by, uh, or it's the whole album, by An Emotional Fish. I remember watching this band on MTV's 120 Minutes. I never bought anything by them. So uh, on the East West, looks like a um, UK uh, pressing. But right away, here is something by Ride that I have on um, CD forever. But I, I, I never saw the vinyl. Wow, today forever on vinyl. I love this. Remember to Mark, you honor me, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah, there's some dead wax here. Uh, it's so strong, I, I I couldn't miss it. Pounding away like a good un. Yeah, that's for sure. And it's a Porky Prime cut. I'll put this on where it could be. <clears throat> it's really good. I was, um, had this warp record queued up to play. But this is really some good stuff. Thank you, Mark. I did have this queued up to play. Seems probably getting long last on war. But um, to be honest, I was watching a program on um, YouTube, uh, boning up on um, the uh, history of the, what's going on behind the New World Order. Oh, this is great. Emotional fish. Okay. Let's see, what do we have next here? We're going this way. This is awesome. Because I, I have the CD single I've had forever. Like I said, I got to see these guys live once. Got to party with them afterwards. I got the uh, autographs and everything on one of the singles. Mark in particular was real nice. Um, not in a gay way, no. Real just mate, mate way. I just really felt accepted like a friend. I, you know, just really stuck with me. I used to have this, so thank you, Paul. Um, I can't explain why I sold these. Sometimes I have records and I don't know what I have. You know what I mean? Wow. Mumping up my ride real quick. This is awesome, Mark. Wow, ride. I don't know where it comes from. Now here is a 12 inch that I have never even seen before. Um, I know this, some of these, like Carnival of Light, I have the CD, but wow. 
Yeah, I had these. I had in Wow. Chelsea Girl, creation. This is just mind blowing. These are the originals, people. This is so amazing. You know, I kind of hoped that maybe I'd get stay forever, but damn. And we just keep going. Play. I just really don't remember why I sold it. This is just killer. Just killer. I had a potential thing I was going to leave um, today uh, for, and I'm glad I didn't. Because can, I can do it any day. Wow. Tarantula on vinyl. So I gotta think about where I'm gonna put this. Um, I, I, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of blown away. I really, I really am. I mean, you were sending me ride. I didn't. You sent, you, you set me up, man. God damn. They're the boys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's you know I'm gonna tie it in with what I've been um, absorbing um, you know we all go through phases and I'm in a phase where I'm learning more about you know the history of uh, the world finance how it works you know, trying to get a grip on this chakric pit feeling that I have about <laughs> the near future. And, uh, it ties in perfectly with this gift from you, Mark. Um, I'm trying to get my words together because uh, it's a heavy thought that I'm having and I want to share it. To this day, um, when I look at the world and I see the madness behind the, um, to me, the blind, um, the blinding light of uh, material power and how the entire planet is um, just in its clutches, I'm just so pleased that it's just so apparent to me that that is just the losing ticket and what's the most important thing is the actual content of the things that we're doing not the monetary thing behind it uh, these records to me and the fact that Mark you sent them to me we've never met that we have this this obvious bond through music through this connection that we're able to have through a, a technology and this isn't based on this doesn't happen because of being a greed monger person focused on the money it it comes from just remaining just what I believe is it just just try to just I do I just try to remain focused on the one thing that's important which is just living and being true to being a human and this is such a gift I, I hope my words make a little bit of sense Mark and anyone else that watches um, it just reasserts to me that it's not about 
the money. It's about the. It's about the quality of what it bring. The things bring to our life. You know what I'm saying? The entire uh, circle of industry is has to happen for these things to have happened to create them. Continue to create them. But to lose the beauty of that and just be focused on the power, which is what I've been watching, you know, about the Illuminati and stuff, you know what I'm saying, you know, the new old world order, Freemasons, it's like, man, I'm just so glad that, you know, I'm just, you know, crazy enough or dumb enough or retarded enough to just see it so clearly. It's like, you know, it's, it's not, it's that ain't the way. I mean, even though they're running game, it's like, boy, what a sad game, you know? Thank you for this music, for this. I'm just going to dive in now. Um, thank you, Mark, member two. Wow. BC rules. BC rules. Hey, you know, I just want to say another thing right quick, you know. Because I've been watching this um, stuff about the Illuminati and that all-seeing eye, and that is not what this is about, okay? Man, I'm so glad that I've just been so naively, innocently expressing and following, as far as I know, my own impulses, you know? As far as I know, I'm not under some kind of fucking mind control. I mean, some of you think people probably saying, what's all this crazy shit Derek saying? Does sound crazy, doesn't it? Does sound crazy. Mark, thank you for this music so much. Thank you. This ain't no. This is just me, the I. I see. I see. Okay. <laughs> I see what's going on. That's what this is about. It ain't about nobody watching me. I'm watching you. I see what the motherfucker is going on. God bless. Thank you, Mark.